bedroom. Gigantic living space. And a nice harbor view. For dinner, we went to Blue Water Seafood, which is both a restaurant and a seafood market. And they were pretty understaffed, so it took us a while to order and get our food, though we did get our clam chowder right away. The next morning, we went to Spill the Beans for breakfast, which was super close to our hotel. They have coffee, obviously, along with a variety of bagels and spreads and bagel sandwiches. So we ordered at the counter and then sat down where they have outdoor seating overlooking the marina and the park. It was a really nice day as usual for San Diego, and it was just a really calm way to start our morning. Plus, each of our bagel sandwiches were super delicious. After that, we took a traffic-filled drive to La Jolla to go on our ocean kayaking tour, and we chose Everyday California where we dropped our stuff off before heading to the beach. And after some instructions, we were off kayaking, and we were kayaking a pretty good distance towards Emerald Cave, though unfortunately, Ed got very seasick and was just not having a good time. So if you get motion sick and you're going kayaking, definitely take some Dramamine beforehand. Another tip is to slather on tons of sunscreen because you can't really take it with you in the middle of the ocean. I got some pretty gnarly sunburns on my knees and thighs. If there was any restaurant I'd say is a must visit in San Diego, I would definitely pick Oscars without question. They have amazing fresh seafood tacos, probably my favorite tacos in all of San Diego, and we also like to get their ceviche, my favorites are the battered fish tacos, spicy shrimp, shrimp and chorizo, and grilled octopus, all of which are excellent. For dinner, we had a reservation at Soichi, which is a Michelin-starred sushi restaurant. So this was really our splurge meal of the weekend to celebrate our mini moon. It's a small restaurant with limited seating, and we made sure to book seats at the sushi bar so we could watch all of the action. On the menu, they do have a la carte options along with a couple choices for omakase that you can pick from based on your budget and your appetite. But given that we were celebrating, we went with the largest soichi omakase menu. With our homemade ponzu sauce, the pink flower dish is called nabanzuke. That's a deep fried mackerel marinated in dashi vinegar. The top part of the meat uh, is a uh, silver striped uh, anchovy with a homemade miso vinegar called kibi nago.
my soul, let my heart turn stone Guess I gotta say it twice, it ain't my fault Every little thing got a price, that's what I thought That's what they taught Yeah, I'ma take my chance till I drop mm -hmm. You know this ain't the time for the two of us Ooh, I ain't got space to be thinking about Growing no dud on my thinking, me and you Guess it's over It was a rainbow, but we're sinking Lost my you I might come running back When our hearts get back on track When the stars line up, that's that I've been attached, just looking out We move so fast, was moving south Through my secret sauce, moved in and out Miss how you gloss that pretty mouth You know this ain't Time for the two of us, Ooh, I ain't got space to be thinking about you. Gloss that, love it when you toss it back, love it when you talk back. Girl, you get me off track, so off white track soon, just so I can floss, yeah. With my new bitty, she ain't let my it's off yet. Could have been you, still feeling on my ditty, but you lost that. After dinner, we went back to our hotel where there's a rooftop bar that overlooks downtown San Diego and the Pacific Ocean, and it just happened to be as the sun was setting, so the timing just happened to be perfect. At the party while you jaw jack, you know it's the shot, and the rare is in the wrong fashion, you still trying to fit me, how this all happen, huh? You know this ain't the time for the two of us, oh, I We went back to Spill the Beans the next day for breakfast because we enjoyed it and it was such a convenient location from the hotel. I even actually ended up buying one of their shirts along with our coffees. And this time we actually got a chia seed pudding with berries, which was really good. And their take on essentially a McMuffin, which was probably my favorite bagel sandwich there over the weekend. For lunch, we went to El Viejon Seafood in Kearney Mesa, which seems to be a neighborhood where a lot of Asian businesses and restaurants are, but it wasn't super busy when we went, and I loved how I could see the cook behind the counter just boiling a ton of whole fresh octopus in a big pot and pulling them out one by one. You always let me know. Just across the street was Somi Somi, which is a Korean soft serve taiyaki chain. And if you don't know what taiyaki is, it's basically like a waffle like fish shaped pastry that they use like a cone here, except you can also pick a filling for the fish. And there's also some free topping options for the soft serve. And I kept it fairly simple with a milk soft serve flavor in a cup with an unfilled taiyaki and matcha powder and a strawberry on top. We had early evening plans at Rooftop Cinema Club, which is essentially an outdoor rooftop movie theater with food, and there's a bunch of lounge chair seating, and our seats were surprisingly comfortable that Ed was actually dozing off a little bit before the movie started. It was super cute, they actually had a few photo backdrops that you could take pictures in front of, and a bunch of lawn games that you could play if you got there early. Don't 
After the movie, we went to the Little Italy neighborhood before our dinner reservation. It's a cute, pretty lively neighborhood with a good variety of restaurants and other businesses. Our last meal in San Diego was Crack Shack, which is Ed's must visit when he's here. And it's a fast casual chicken spot with a bunch of chicken paraphernalia for decor. And as you can probably guess, their specialty is chicken, specifically fried chicken. And one of my favorite things here is the different sauces on tap, which are all really good with their fries or their chicken. Thank you. 